Hi, it's Janice from Ferris Farm Produce. Um, today I'm going to show you how to change the spacing on the Polyplaner Junior a 2.0. Uh, the first thing you want to do is remove the hopper. There's two screws that you need to remove. Um, I went ahead and did that to you know, hurry everything to speed up the video so you don't have to watch that. Remove those two hoppers. Um, there's going to be two sides to this, obviously. Um, side B, you'll see the letter B on it, and then you're going to have side A. Now on side A, you're going to find um, where it says the word install. There's going to be a one arrow and a second arrow. The arrow beside the A um, is the place that we're going to build from. So everything is going to build from this point. Right now this is a 10 head. I'm going to change it to a 7 head. I went ahead and removed the um, spacer thing. You just pop it off with a screwdriver. Real simple. Pop it off and then pop the bottom off so it's no biggie. All right. There's going to be four screws that need to be removed in the 10 head. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the beak itself. This makes it easier. Um, we'll remove the beak here. And what I'm referring to the beak is this whole entire thing that your metal part that pokes through plastic is. This comes off, slides right out. So we're going to need seven of those because I'm going from a 10 head to a 7 head. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this. This is our 10 head slot and I'm going to replace it with a 7 head one. So we need to take these screws out. Now this is where you need to be very careful. you got to make sure that this is all lined up um, so you don't want anything to move uh, on you. So we're just going to remove this and then um, since this spacer is wider than uh, this spacer, I'm going to need to go ahead and remove the uh, this beak housing as well. I'm going to try to do that without moving too much to make it go off and go on easier. Now all this does is this just slides right on there. And we want to get the holes lined up. So as long as we did this right, and that holes didn't move, that all you have to do is screw this in down below here. And then you're going to screw this in up here. And this moved just a little, which is okay. We'll just move it back to where it needs to be. Because the arrow basically is your guide on top of this thing. And once it fits in that hole, it'll pull itself right in. Okay, so that's the first thing that we needed to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go around from the whole entire thing where we're going to move all of the spacers, our 10 head spacers, and all of our beats. We just want to keep seven beaks close because as I said we're going from a 10 to a 7. point over here because it's opposite of where we have that together so just want to make sure we move everything along this way. Sometimes it requires a little bit of pushing. Want to make sure we get all the spacers off. So if, when you want a 10 head, you're going to have one extra spacer that's going to have to come off before you start assembling. All right. Now at this point in time, since I'm going to a 7 head, I put a 7 head spacer on. But if you wanted to go to a 5 head, a 6 head, uh, an 8 head, or, or a 12 head, you just need to make sure you have the right number of spacing. And they're all marked, so this does say a 7 on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it backwards. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide this, this part of the beak underneath that so it slides right in very easily. And then I want to make sure I pick up a 7 head spacer. And that slides on. Now make sure you get them on nice and easy so you don't have any pinch points going on. And I like to get them past that point. So and push it all the way up to your other spacer on the other side. Now we just put a space on, so we're going to need to do a beak. Another spacer. Now, as I said, make sure you get this on right so you don't have it. It needs to slide on nice and easy. Another beak. Another spacer.
another pan. Another spacer. Beak. Spacer. Beak. And spacer. And all right, we're almost to the last beak. And now, this is where what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna make sure that everything is tight against this side. Okay? Because we're gonna take our last beak and we're gonna put the beak in underneath that thing right there and then push, pull it in right here. And this right here, where the second arrow is for a seven head is where you're gonna put the screws in. And that's all. That is our complete um, putting, taking the 10 head and making it into a 7 head. You can do that with all different beaks and different sizes and spacing. And all right. Thank you.